Hey, what's up guys? It's Gathalion and welcome back to Destiny. On Friday, Bungie finally got around to releasing the 1.2.0 update for Destiny, which unlocks some fun quests for the House of Wolves pre-DLC type stuff. So I want to go over with the main activity with you guys, and that is the uh, Ether Keys and Fallen Chess farming that everybody's getting into, and exactly what you could get out of it in the best area to go do these chess farms in. So basically, the Fallen Chess will randomly spawn after you kill all the waves of wolves, after you get the Wolves Are Prowling alert uh, when you are on patrol in certain areas. I like to do the Skywatch because I find it to be the most efficient and you can actually use a pretty clever glitch or uh, I guess exploit to respawn the chest up to five times is the most that I've gotten it. Uh, anyways, so um, so you want to wait for the wolves are prowling and then the you want to kill all mans that come from the drop ships and then you will get an ether key. This ether key lasts a minute and a half and you could go and find the chest and open the chest. The proper public etiquette inside of these events is to point or wave if you find the chest. In the Skywatch, uh, the chest can spawn in one of four locations. Uh, one of them is down near where you come in the Skywatch. If you come from, uh, what is it, the steps? If you come from the step side or what is it, yeah, Moth Yards. If you come from the Moth Yard side, there will be a fence. There is one by the fence. There is a building in the middle of the Skywatch. It could spawn on there. Uh, and then there is a spot it spawns over near where Fallen Vandals spawn, near the helicopters and truck. And then there is a spawn where it spawns up on top of the roof at the very top of the Skywatch that leads you... Uh, all the way back around to uh, the, the shoreline. So those are the four spots that it spawns. So here is the trick that lies in. Uh, wherever the, um, the chest starts to spawn, you could grab it and then you could zone to the next zone and come back and you can reopen it. I've gotten this to work up to five times in Skywatch and that's the most I've seen to be able to be done within the minute 30 time frame. Skywatch is a small zone, it's really easy to get to all the chests very quickly and you can reopen it five times which is pretty crazy. Uh, the main loot that we're looking to get from these, you could get engrams, you could get uh, uh, both rare and legendary engrams, I've gotten quite a few legendary engrams. You could get synthesis, though I do recommend filling up your consumables so you don't fill up with uh, green synthesis because there's no way to discard them. So you're going to be stuck using 80 of them like I am because I'm an idiot. Uh, you could get materials. And then the last and most important thing and most mysterious is treasure keys. Treasure keys are used to open, uh, evidently, tre uh, the, the, the Prison of Elders chest room. Uh, these treasure keys, uh, I've never seen them used personally. Um, I do know that you supposedly get them when you complete the Prison of Elders, um, and it takes you down to where the rewards are. What the implications for these keys uh, are going forward, being able to get them from these events is unknown. Will you be able to just jump in the Prison of Elders and open up the treasure room? I don't think so. I think you're going to have to actually still complete it. Will you be able to use these on the higher level challenges after you've already done them once a week? We're not sure. There's a lot of unanswered questions, but I do know they're purple, and you probably want them, and you're probably going to be able to get shit if you have them. So collect your keys. You can collect up to five per character, and you can stack five up inside of your bank, though they are relatively rare. I've probably done a hundred chests, and I have two keys, but my luck has not been very good on keys. How are you guys doing on keys? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all back in House of Wolves.